Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking: Sketch the region enclosed by the curve y is equal to e power minus x, x is equal to zero, and x is equal to. Find the area. So let's see how we can find the area of this one. So first of all, let's go. Let's go ahead and draw the graph first. So here we have e power minus x. So e power minus x graphs looks like this it goes like this right so it goes like this and the region we are here we are interested in is this region 0 to 2 x is equal to 0 to 2 so 0 is this 2 is this and if we draw a line at 2 like this this is the region we are interested in so this is the area we are going to find Let's see how we can find this. So first of all, to find this one, we use this equation, top function minus bottom function. So here we know the top function is going to be e power minus x, and the bottom function is just y is equal to 0. So we can just leave it as it is. And then we have to know the limits of integration. So this is going from 0 to 2. That's going to be our limits of integration. 0 to 2 top function that is e power minus x bottom function y is equal to 0 we can just put 0 right here dx right if you find the derivative of this one this is going to be just e power minus x divided by minus 1 and that's going from 0 to 2 right now if you substitute this value right here this is going to be e power negative 2 divided by minus 1 minus e power 0 divided by minus 1 e power 0 is 1 right so this is going to be e power minus 2 minus and minus 1 so here 1 over minus 1 that's, equal, that's going to be just minus 1 so minus 1 right here and minus minus 1 is going to be plus 1 so we have e power minus 2 plus 1 Therefore, the area of this one is going to be, so this is the area, right? So the area is going to be equal to 1 plus, actually 1 minus, we have minus sign in front of e power minus 2. So this is going to be 1 minus e power minus 2. And that's going to be the final answer. And if you simplify this one, you will get 0 0.865. And that's how we do these kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.